If you've ever stood in front of the supplement shelf wondering which magnesium supplement that you should take, whether it's glycinate, the 3 and 8, you're definitely not alone. The truth is not all magnesium is created equal and choosing the right type could be the missing link for your energy, mood, sleep or digestion. Hi, I'm Sonia Hollis, a qualified nutritional therapist. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the real science behind the different forms of magnesium so you can match the type to your symptoms and stop wasting money on the wrong one. We'll cover the most common forms like glycinate, oxide, 3 in 8, malate and more. I'll explain what each one does, who it's best for, what side effects to watch out for and plus you'll learn how to supplement safely and what actually helps magnesium to work in your body. But before we jump in, just make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss any of our science backed health tips. OK, let's get started. Magnesium supports over 300 enzyme reactions in your body, but it's not a one size fits all when it comes to supplementing. Different forms absorb differently, have unique benefits and can cause very different reactions in your body. And if you're experiencing things like fatigue, cramps, low mood, sleep problems, headaches or digestive issues, the type of magnesium that you choose can make all the difference. So let's break it down. For a refresher on the most common signs of magnesium deficiency, make sure you check out my other video here, which I will link in the description below. So let's start with the one that I get asked the most about. If you feel tense, anxious or can't seem to fall asleep, no matter how tired you are, this form is for you. It's bound to glycine, an amino acid that helps to calm the nervous system. It's gentle, effective and rarely causes digestive issues. And it's also best for anxiety, insomnia, perimenopause, PMS and stress. Now, I've got an entire video on magnesium glycinate, and I'll just include the link in the description below. Struggling with sluggish digestion? This one acts a bit like nature's laxative, so it's perfect if you're feeling blocked up. It's bound to citric acid, which pulls water into the intestines. It's best for occasional constipation, and my advice would be to start low, because occasionally things may move a bit too fast. OK, moving on to this form of magnesium. Now, let's be honest, this form of magnesium shows up a lot in cheaper supplements, but it isn't well absorbed. It's high in elemental magnesium, but your body doesn't take much of it in. It's often used just for a strong laxative effect and it's not great for long term support or correcting a deficiency. If you're suffering from brain fog, memory lapses or just trouble focusing, then this form is designed for your brain. It crosses the blood brain barrier and supports cognitive function. It's often used in brain support or neurological blends. It's more expensive, but potentially worth it for the focus and mood. And it's backed by emerging research on memory support and cognitive function. Are you still feeling tired after a four nights sleep or maybe you've got chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia, then this one may be for you. Malic acid helps to produce energy inside your cells. It's slightly energizing, so take it in the morning. It's best for fatigue, muscle pain or sluggish metabolism. And also some early studies suggest that it may benefit those for muscle tenderness and low energy states. If your issues are more heart related, like blood pressure or heart palpitations, then Taurate may be your best bet. It's calming, but with cardiovascular benefits. It's often found in heart health formulations, and it's best for high blood pressure, stress and nervous system support. And some small trials have shown its potential to support healthy blood pressure when paired with lifestyle changes. So this one is slightly different. Now, if you're feeling physically tense or sore, this one is ideal for soaking, but definitely not swallowing. Now, Epsom salts are used in baths, so they're not capsules. And they are so great for helping to relax your muscles and reducing stress before bed. But caution if taken orally is a very, very strong laxative. 
Okay, moving on to the last option. Now, what if your gut doesn't absorb things so well? Maybe this form could help. It's sometimes used topically or in liquid forms. It's thought to absorb well through the skin and it's a gentle option for people with sensitive digestion. Most people need between 200 and 400 milligrams of elemental magnesium daily, but the form matters. And just as important, the recommended dietary allowance includes magnesium from both food and supplements combined. So for women, that's 310 to 360 milligrams per day. And for men, that's 400 to 420 milligrams per day. Ideally, the bulk of your magnesium should come from a balanced diet. So think leafy greens, nuts, seeds, whole grains and legumes. But if you're using the supplement to fill in some gaps, here's something that can really help. Split your dose throughout the day. Instead of one big serving, try 65 to 100 milligrams at a time, two to three times daily because this improves absorption and helps avoid digestive upset. Take it with food, especially meals with protein and vitamin B6, and combine it with cofactors such as vitamin D, potassium and selenium. So what happens if you're still not feeling a difference? Look at your gut health or nutrient absorption issues. Watch for blockers like stress, caffeine and alcohol, and also some medications can reduce magnesium levels. And consider testing for your red blood cell magnesium, not just serum levels. Choosing the right magnesium can make such a huge difference to how you feel. Whether you're struggling with fatigue, brain fog, muscle cramps, poor sleep or stress. So remember, glycinate for calm and sleep, citrate for digestion, three and eight for brain support and mood, malate for energy and taurate for heart and stress support. Magnesium is powerful, but only if you're using the right type in the right dose with the right cofactors. So I hope this has helped clear up any confusion and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos that I mentioned before, the magnesium glycinate one and also for the shocking signs of low magnesium. That's it. Thank you. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.